um, we had this when the Pro 2 first came out and their people had a preference for the Pro 2. Uh, we'll have to see what happens in my uh, market if many other uh, folks are starting to offer Pro 3 and that becomes the standard. But we didn't touch upon the most important point, um, Dan, which is that it, uh, the classic plan versus the, uh, the new plan. And then maybe, I don't know if there's other questions, but I think that we really should talk about that before a closing out. So, uh, And uh, what would you like to say on that topic? So the the topic, and this is one of the reasons I didn't get the the camera in the beginning. Uh, so I should have mentioned this before, but one of the reasons I was not convinced was because I knew that the Pro 3 camera would not um, be something I could upload to my classic plan. Now, Hopscotch has both the classic plan, which, go ahead. Uh, let, let, just parenthetically, Matterport actually has two sets of pricing. One is prior to 2019, which we typically referred to as Matterport Classic Pricing. And then Matterport came out with what is its current pricing for Matterport Cloud. Uh, and the Matterport Pro 3 camera does not work with the Matterport Classic Pricing of prior to 2019. Right. So, so you have... had to make a decision to say, oh, you, yeah. you, you, you've had a lot of Matterport. You have a number of employees. You got a number of Matterport Pro 2 cameras. You're in Matterport Classic Pricing. Uh, that meant you had to open up a new Matterport Cloud account specifically to use your Pro 3. How'd well, you feel about that? Uh, we already had it. We'd had it for a long time. So I've always had both and, uh, or well, maybe not always, but shortly thereafter um, the announcement, I did get both plans uh, because there's advantages to and disadvantages to both. And so, and certainly the disadvantages continue to mount uh, <laughs> uh, for the classic plans once they did something like this, which was they alienated a lot of their most loyal and oldest customers by saying you cannot transfer a Pro 3 created scan to a classic account. Now, I think that that is, um, is a really unfortunate situation because I feel like it does force people into purchasing a second account but in our case, and maybe for others, um, fortunately, I had already encouraged clients of ours to get their own accounts. Um, and so uploading to their accounts is actually really kind of a moot point then in terms of the hosting. But if you do need to keep stuff hosted and you want to scale your business, I think that the post-2019 plan is a particularly painful uh, business model to to kind of wrap your head around because I don't think that it necessarily it you kind of have to choose your darlings and figure out which ones you want to keep up and which yeah. ones you archive. Well, the uh, one of our guests that we had on, uh, he said, hey, it's just the, the Matterport cloud pricing is the new pricing. It's just the cost of doing business. So build it into your business model when doing your pricing to clients. And uh, particularly in commercial spaces, you're likely to have hosting on an ongoing basis. So, you know, figure out what you're going to charge for not only hosting, but I would call it hosting support and maintenance. I'd put those three terms into it and have a line item that's separate from your scanning for uh, hosting support and maintenance. Yeah, I think that most people do that, uh, Dan, but I think everyone still hates it. I think even the clients <laughs> hate it because it's like, you know, it's a, it's actually just a bookkeeping nightmare. So, uh, you know, there are solutions where you, I know, and they'll probably chime in on your forum on this and say, we take care of the hosting for you. And I'm like, great, like, that's awesome. But uh, again, it's like everybody gets a cut. So I think, yeah. uh, you know, I, um, I do build it in. Uh, I still don't love it. I still don't love it. I just don't. And I think that Matterport had to make some tough decisions as a company to decide what direction to go. And yeah. I've also owned a camera since 2015. So I think yeah. that it, it would have been really nice had Matterport just said, hey, you know, if you had 2019, you were uh, you were among our early adopters. You helped get us to the where we are today. Uh, we're going to allow you to continue to use your classic plan. And so that everyone keeps stop having conversations like we're having right now about current pricing versus classic pricing and 